The using statement allows you to specify namespaces that you want to ex implicitly reference in your code. So you don't have to actually use those same namespace references over and over and over again when you're writing your application. Now, if you don't use the namespace with the using statement, then that means whenever you use classes in a namespace, you really need to explicitly reference all those classes in order to make sure that they can be appropriately identified. For example, up to this point, we've been using the console class and using the full reference to that class, system.console. So if I wanted to do a right line method on system.console, I'd have to write out the full reference, system.console.writeline. However, I could use the using statement and tell it to use system. What this does is it implicitly references the system namespace. Basically what we're doing is we're telling the compiler not to whine to us about not finding a particular class until it's searched through all the classes within the reference namespaces. So what we're really defining here is a search path. When I use system and then say console.writeline, I don't get an error because console is a class within one of the used namespace references. Now, it may not look like you've saved yourself a whole lot of coding just with this example, but if you find yourself using the same class over and over and over again, or you find yourself using a set of classes all within the same namespace, this can actually be quite convenient. You can use multiple namespaces if you wish, so you can have multiple using statements. And generally, those using statements are going to appear at the top of your listing. Now, another thing that we have to concern ourselves with when we start creating control of flow processes in our applications is the use of statement blocks. The curly braces in C Sharp are used to identify the beginning and end of statement blocks. Now, the statement blocks basically define logical sets of statements. So, if I do an if, for example, and I have a number of statements that I wish to execute if a condition is true, I might include those set of statements inside a statement block. The statement blocks also assist us in defining things such as variable scope and program flow within the construct of other statements. So as we take a look at our control of flow operations, our ifs, our loops, etc., notice where the curly braces are actually appearing and how they affect the program flow. 